So for the first step, let's build an assembly along this part. So let's select all these curve and open the assembly download box. And now let's click on this iDrawba tool to sample this assembly. I have downloaded this assembly from the 3D warehouse. Okay, now let's click on this tool which is built along part. Okay, we got the assembly. Now let me show you the amazing new feature in extend and split tool of Profile Builder 4 by which we can create a gap in the assembly and profile member instantly. Now let's create some gap in this assembly. Use the extend or split command and you need to select an assembly first. So select it and now you can click on a place where you want to create this gap. You can click anywhere you want. So let's click on this point. You have to remember with this tool, this download box will only appear when your assembly is a closed loop assembly. And now click OK. So as you can see, we got a gap in the assembly. Now let's try one more time on this assembly. Click at the midpoint. And you can put any value you want and click OK. OK, we got another gap. And this feature also work in the profile member. So let's uh, create profile along this curve. And now let's use the same extend and split command. And select this profile member. And now you can click anywhere you want. And again, you can put any value you want for the gap. Okay, as you can see, we got the gap in that profile member. See? And now let me show you the another cool feature which is split the assembly or profile member. So let's use this command again. You need to select an assembly first. Now you need to hit the control key one time from the keyboard. You will see the plus sign on the mouse. Now you can click anywhere you want to split the assembly. So let's click right here. So as you can see, the assembly has been split it into two parts. Uh, this feature also work on the profile member. You can try it yourself. And now let's use this command freely on this assembly. Select this first and use this command. And let's move the mouse on this end. You will see an arrow. This means the extension will start from this end. If you move mouse right here, the extension will start from this other end. So let's start from right here, click here, and drag it to anywhere you want, and click here. See, uh, you can extend or shrink this assembly freely. This feature also work on the profile member. Now let's shrink this assembly up to this point. Okay, uh, let's extend this, you will see a problem. Uh, this extension will only occur no matter to the surface. And it will not turn just like before, but we can fix this. To fix this, get into this groove and click on this edit part. Now let's draw a line from this point perpendicular to this line. Now delete this face and erase this line. Now let's exit the from groove. Okay, as you can see, it is fixed. Now let's create a gap in this assembly again. Click anywhere you want, where you want to create gap, and put any value you want. Now let's try this extend feature again. Click on this tool and let's shrink this assembly up to this point. And let's shrink this one too and click right here. Okay, let's try uh, on this assembly. Let's select this and let's extend this from this end point. And let's extend this from this end point. Okay, let's try the split command one more time. Press Ctrl key and click anywhere you want to split the assembly. Okay, you can try this all feature in profile member. The procedure is same as before. So that's all guys. If you like this video, please do a like and subscribe my channel. And see you in the next tutorial.